Melcy. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. So we are making a butternut squash bread today. Um, and our recipe calls for um, a butternut squash puree. We don't have puree. We have original, fresh butternut squash. So I just cut them in half and I'm gonna put them face down, flesh side down on a pan and I'm gonna um, bake them for 60 minutes and then test them for tenderness, see if they're done at 425 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven, set a timer and then we will be back to actually make the bread portion uh, the batter for the bread um, once this is done and roasted. So we will see you shortly. Yeah, Elsie has peeled, baked, and um, pretty much pureed the butternut squash, but we want to whisk it in here to make sure it is like really creamy. So the first thing we're gonna do is our dry ingredients. So we have our flour. Sorry. And we have all our fall seasonings here. We're just going to take that for a few turns. Just to mix it together. And then we're going to add in this here and whisk this a couple rounds before we start adding in our liquid just to make sure we have it completely pureed. pureed. Whoops. By the way, butternut squash is good. We done snacked Sweet. on it. Meat. We had a medium sized butternut squash and we had a little bit left over that we didn't need for yeah. this. So we're just pureeing this here. So we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our liquid ingredients. This is orange juice. You can add water if you don't have any orange juice. You can put water in, it's a quarter cup. And oil. Our eggs. And then our sugars. And we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. Here we go. We're good. We need our spatula. Just scrape this bowl down. You take that, I'll take this. This smells so good. All those fall seasonings, you know, your cloves, your cinnamon, all ginger. spice, ginger, all those those fall smells is just You don't want to mix this too long, by the way, because you do not, you want it to have some consistency, but you want it to be in Tender. a- Tender. You want it to be in a pureed form also. But you don't want it to be like cake batter. All right, and we're gonna put this in the oven and bake it. We'll let you know for how long. And we'll put that in the description box and we will show you what it looks like when it comes out because it's gonna be good, y'all. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.